Application typically need to connect to a database to read and persist data. Developers have to manage DB credentials, host names, and even server certificates for those secured databases. This becomes even more complex if we need to deploy the application on a Kubernetes environment like uh, OpenShift. But this doesn't have to be a hassle. In this video, I will show you how you can use Red Hat OpenShift database access and service bounding operator to make this process easier. I have this Go Red application here. This application uses Cockroach DB as its backend database, but it doesn't store any connection related information in its code. All it does is uh, use this uh, service bounding client library to get a connection string from its deployed environment. So let's see how it works. I have this um, uh, OpenShift cluster environment here, and I'm now in this uh, developer view. And I also have this Go web application deployed in this project. And at this point, this web application doesn't know anything about the connection, so it hasn't started correctly. But now I'm going to uh, make it work. So the first step is that I'm going to create a Crawfish DB uh, instance. I'm going to this add menu and then click on connected database. I'm going to select Crawfish DB cloud and then hit connect. Okay, the product account is already, already set up. And then what I need to do is uh, create a database instance. I'm going to name this instance as a food service DB and then click create. All right, the, the instance is now ready. And then the next step is to create the connection for this instance and then hit connect. All right, DB connection is ready. And then my uh, application is here. What I need to do is use the service bounding to bind this connection to this application. Click create. Okay, the bounding is, uh, is done. And then you can see the application part get restarted and so that you can pick up connection properties. Now let's go to take a look at the deployment object of this application in the environment tab. Okay, we can see that the service bounding route is now created and then it's pointing to a bounding volume. This is where all the properties are stored. And then check the log. Okay, this time this application successfully started. You can see you get the connection URL with all the credentials, host names. Then most importantly, the SSL mode is enabled and then it's also pointing to the uh, OOS certificate. And all right, service started successfully. Now I'm going to launch this application and then click on the, on the uh, rounds. All right, things looks good. The application started and then load up the default data. Now I'm going to add a new foods to the list, avocado, save. Okay, avocado is now on the list and things look good. In this video, we saw how a developer could trigger the database instance self-provisioning and then use the service bounding goal client library to securely connect to a Qualcomm DB instance without knowing the connection URL beforehand. I hope you found this useful. And thank you so much for watching.